Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, take some more HCMC. In this video, I'm gonna cover some of the points about why certain people are buying this stock on their own opinions, why um, some people are gonna be selling at certain points, and then also answering a question, is the price currently worth investing in? And then later on, the short data and what that means for HCMC. So if you guys found this video useful, enjoyed it, make sure you click that like button down below. It costs you guys nothing, but help this get video out to everyone and it spreads knowledge to the whole community so that we get stronger and stronger. And also, if you want to watch more, click that subscribe button down below. Other than that, let's get straight into the video. So, you know, before we kind of get into where, to the points I have, the day they announced, you know, and this, I do want to talk about some of the comments I've been getting on my videos recently. And... You know, I want to address this because I know probably some long-time subscribers and consistent viewers are maybe also wondering the same question, or maybe they are being affected by these comments. But it's the fact on these comments, there's been a lot of comments now, when HCMC isn't performing, you know, 1000% every day, you know, a lot of people are now saying that I am a pump and dump, that I'm trying to pump and dump HCMC. And, you know, again, I, so I just want to clarify this because Firstly, I said all the time, I'm not a financial advisor, so do take my opinions with grain of salt. I have not told anyone to buy into HCMC. I have said at the price I'm buying at, why I'm buying at, and personally where I think are good prices to buy at. I have never personally told anyone to buy into a price. And if you guys really think, you know, my videos average 2,000 views a video, sometimes even less, sometimes a bit more, you know, it really varies, but it ranges around 2,000 averages. And if you guys think 2,000 views can really pump a stock, that's 450 million, um, market cap with 309 billion outstanding shares, then, you know, I really suggest you get off the stock market. And, you know, I hate to be brutal because, you know, I've always said that, look, this is what this, I'm only giving my opinions and my analysis on the stock. If you guys don't like it, obviously you don't like it. And I've said this all the time that only if you believe in this, you buy into it. And this is going to take a very long time. Some people, because they don't see the result in two, three, four, five days, or even one day, then they come at me, you know, they hate on me. And But it's like, I'm still going to be creating videos because I know there are some people who watch these videos. You know, when you guys leave comments like, thank you for the video, this helped me a lot. Thank you for answering my questions. You know, those really matter a lot to me. You know, those really just really brighten up my day. And, you know, you guys are the reason why I can keep on going. But And, you know, despite whatever comments I, I get, I'm still going to keep going. And, you know, particularly on May the 3rd, when a whole pump and dump was schemed on Reddit, on all these communities, I personally said myself, despite knowing I'm going to get a lot of hate on these videos, is that don't participate in this. This is unhealthy. You're going to get caught up into it. Don't make sure you don't get caught up in there. And, you know, I've said these things myself, but look, if you guys really think I'm a pump and dump, you know, feel free to unsubscribe. Feel free to not watch my videos. But I stand by it. Otherwise, say, you know, I just want to give my own analysis because I enjoy doing that. And, you know, that is it. So I do apologize for taking up you guys' time, but now we can get straight into the video. So first, you know, I want to cover some of the points in terms of HCMC and just some stuff of why people are saying, you know, what they're going to do. And so this is from Charles Harrison. And he person so he said, the day they announce an RS, so that's a reverse split, is the day I sell regardless. And, you know, this is what I've been saying. So I've been saying that when it comes to a reverse split, there's a lot of bad stigma around it. There's a lot of bad kind of just... A negative kind of view on that and so I and I've been warning this in advance but you know we're not going to we don't know what the future holds we don't know what will happen in the future but look you know a lot of people feel the same way as Charles here with when they announce when they announce an RS or even when they do an RS they're going to sell and so you know there's going to be a lot of selling so that's the first point I want to make and then secondly because a lot of people right now are still sitting on the sideline there wondering whether or not you should buy into HCMC for multiple reasons you know but the two main reasons is firstly the lawsuit and secondly long-term growth and this is more for the long-term growth so this is by Joseph Murphy and he says here my reason for investing drove over to ADA's Adders uh, in Fort Myers Florida store was well stocked and exceptionally clean employees were courteous appropriately presentable and product knowledgeable Found many quote unquote healthy items new to me, not carried in a big name grocery store. So totally impressed. Wish I had one in my state. Check out yourself. And so, this is from a personal review on you know HTMC of about their stores. And you know a lot of people have always said you know invest in the products that you use yourself because you can understand you know if this product is really good, if this product is worthy of other people buying. And so you know here has given his own reason for investing is that he he 
first hand did experience you know the product in this case the store himself and he liked it and if i guess in his tone of voice is that he thinks that there is a lot of kind of investment growth for stores like this and that's one of the reasons i'm guessing he is investing because you know if they were to grow this store bigger and bigger then obviously the company will grow and so that is his reason of you know buying to hcmc there will probably be other reasons but you know this is what i want to say so you know this is very good thank you very much for leaving this comment you know i personally can't check out these stores i wish i could but um you know thank you very much again like i said i always really appreciate when people leave you know comments and knowledge down in the comment section below so if you have anything to say you know feel free to comment down below and again thank you very much for these two for um saying these points over here you're going to be seeing a lot of points but these are basically the points of why i'm saying you know um you guys can pause it and read the points but this is you know answering why no one's buying into hmc yet and this was the points for pm's response so if you guys want more detailed videos feel free to check that out on my channel and you know these and i kind of explain these points obviously in more detail but here you can just pause it and quickly read it um and just get a summary of it now on to the questions and this is by Andrew Gunning and again like I said if you guys have any questions or any points again I always appreciate you guys for commenting down below but he's saying I'm guessing the price it is it's at now is worth investing in and you know going back to earlier what I'm saying again guys I'm not a financial advisor so do take my opinions with a grain of salt make sure you do your own due diligence and research before getting to a stock and like I said I will never tell anyone um, to buy a stock I personally like to give my own opinion of why I'm buying and what points I think I could at buying at. And, you know, I could obviously give my opinions of why you should or shouldn't. And really, I'm just being a non-biased um, kind of talker here. And pretty much, you know, if you are investing into HMC for the lawsuit, then realistically, any time, pretty much any time in between 0 0.065, so the all-time high, to where it is at now is a good time um, to buy into HMC because when they win a lawsuit, HMC will obviously grow um, extremely strong because they're going to get so much money. And you know, we talked about the buybacks. We could see HMC potentially, and this is again potentially, you know, at zero point five or at the very least, you know, zero point zero one. And so, you know, these are something that will happen because if they were to get obviously a big settlement fee, and this again, there's a lot of perfect assumptions here, but you know, if they were to get a big settlement fee that they can obviously do a massive buyback and if they were to do a massive buyback they can then retire those shares and increasing the value of the remaining shares and that's why we could obviously see hmc at a very high price and so this is on speculation of a lawsuit it's somewhat you know um again risky because it, there is no definite telling of what will happen in the lawsuit and so if you are willing to put you know a tiny bit of money into betting that HMC could win the lawsuit, then, you know, any price, obviously the lower the better because you're obviously gaining a bigger gain, but, you know, any price below, you know, any price right here, pretty much this range is a decent price to buy at. However, you know, if you are buying HMC for the growth, I feel like if you're waiting for HMC in, say, five years or 10 years time, so a very long time, then still, you know, Again, it goes back, it's the same, the lower the price, obviously, is better to buy at, but, you know, going back to what um, here that Joseph has said is that, you know, their stores is obviously very well, and these could be one of the biggest factors for why the company can grow. We talked about multiple times, you know, about the other patterns that they have and how that is a big treasure for them and how they can use that to their advantage. And so, like, you know, again, so if you're believing into HMC as the company growth, then, you know, they could be a billion dollar business. They could be even bigger. Right now, they're at 255 million. And so, you know, um, if they were to grow to a billion, then it is pretty much four times the price at now. So it's at 0 0.03, 0 0.0032. Um, so it's still below 0 0.0065. But, you know, if it could, it could go obviously higher, that could be worth 5 billion, 10 billion. It really depends because of, you know, the market growth that we're looking for. And that's on... The assumption is that, you know, if they grow as a company, they will eventually get more money. A lot of big companies, when, when they start getting money, XSF cash, they practice buying back shares and retiring shares. And so maybe we won't see something as big as, you know, suddenly HTMC gets 500 million and then they use 200 million to do a buyback. But they could, uh, you know, gradually get, say, if they make, let's say, this is an assumption, but let's say if they make 12 million a year, they could take out 2 million to continuously buy back and buy back and buy back. Or say if they make 20 million, then they take 10 million a year and buy back and buy back and buy back. And so, 
you know, here there is less leeway because like I said, if it's a settlement, then anywhere in between 0.065 is good. But you know, here maybe if you think that there can be a $1 billion company, then pretty much anywhere underneath 0 0.0032, it's an obvious price to, then it's a, you know, a sensible price to buy at pretty much is what I'm saying. So that is what you should be watching out for. But I feel like that could be reached um somewhat easily but you know we'll never know and finally to go on with the short data so we're looking at the short data here and um, you know we're looking at 27 percent 0.25 we are looking at the short data decreasing a lot we did see a 52 percent percent of volume shorted on august the 17th however we are seeing you know gradually decreasing back you know a month ago we were looking at pretty much uh we're looking at a very high percentage in the lowest of 40%. And so right now we're seeing a very big decrease in the percentage of volume shorted. And that is obviously very good because, you know, that just means firstly, less people are attacking HMC. And normally when people short, firstly, it's because the trend is the downward trend, but a lot of people short because they don't see value in the company. But right now, you know, there's less people shorting because firstly, people aren't buying because they are uncertain, but also so are the shorters because they are scared. And so if there were still shorters in, that will obviously mean a lot of people feel like HTMC will lose the lawsuit. But because right now there's a decrease in the percentage of short volume, then you know a lot of people are not saying that it will win, but rather they are scared and they don't they are not too confident on PM winning. And so you know this short data pretty much suggests right now there's a lot less fear, and so we're looking at more stable. And you know that is something obviously very good. We're still seeing short percentage, but you're always going to see short percentage. Even the bigger stocks like Apple, you know, are being shorted every day. So there is nothing to be worrying about here. And then finally, really just to talk about HMC on its own, and it's just you know, end of the day, like everyone understand that this is a waiting game, and this could take a year, this could take less if you're in for the lawsuit, and if you're in for company growth, it could take five years or more if you're willing to wait that long. And so like if you have patience, then obviously wait as long as possible. But if you don't, then you know you may have to change up your strategy because this could take some while anyway guys thank you for watching this video i do apologize for that maybe this video is not as good as previous because you know i am trying my best to obviously not give people the vibe that i'm trying to pump and dump because i'm not you know nor do i want people to just buy into this stock kind of without any knowledge i've given my analysis on and i've never said to buy into this stock and so, I mean, I'm really trying to watch out of what I say. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys feel about HGMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. After that, enjoy your day.